Hello everyone and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Anyway, in today's episode I'm going to get prepared for tomorrow's horde. The radio tower up the road. Let's not let us a house. Anyway, overnight I had a bit of luck. I did a bit of prospecting and I found a deposit of nitrates over there by the lake. So I've started making bullets, seeing as I had already found plenty of lead. And I think at this point the only thing I have to worry about is brass. Because unlike the rest I can't really mine for that, although I suppose in a pinch I can use steel cases. And as you can see I'm going nuts. I think that'll... 77, yeah actually I'm going to have to come back. That'll be done by the end of the episode so I'll have heaps and heaps of bullets. Actually quite pleased to discover I'd unlocked that feature. But yeah, I managed to scrounge up some cement and mostly I think it's from stuff from uh, looting. Hopefully it'll be enough because I don't really want to deal with this without it. <laughs> you know, seven day hordes are challenging. But it means I will have the hunting rifle and I might actually bring the AK-47 with me although I'm not planning on using it. As it's a little extravagant with bullets. Also need to get a mini bike or something built. I think I've unlocked it. But yeah, you can vault. Oh, piss off! Stop hitting my place. Right, I better just have a quick look around to make sure there's no none of those beating on the wall. Um, when you think about it, I've had a forge running all night and uh, that thing running, so it might attract a bit of attention. Right, looks like we're in the clear. So I'm going to guess I'm going to head over there and get building. I just want to get it done this morning, so that gives me plenty of time for preparing and seeing if I can make even more bullets. I don't know if I have enough brass, but I'll do that off camera. And as I said, all else fails. I can always make a few with steel cases that I don't want to because they're a bit rough on the guns. Yeah, at least you can shoot through these, so, well, at least you could in the previous alphas. I'm going to find out if that still works. But it shouldn't be too big of a deal either way. radio tower appears in the distance and admittedly it looks completely normal. Untouched looking. Then of course as we approach there goes the fence and there goes the tower seeing as I knocked it down for scrap metal before I found my iron deposits. Yeah that took a bit of hunting but now that I've found it I've actually got more than I know what to do with. And uh did I bring any wooden frames with me? No, I didn't. Oh well, I got I hope I got enough spears. All right. Um. Yeah, I did bring enough cement. There and there. That'll have to do. Um. Hopefully, I have enough concrete. Nice. And of course, mining has really pushed the level up. So is building with concrete apparently. Concrete is OP. <laughs> I should probably get rid of that. Um, actually I will. Alright, that's that layer taking. Oh, what the shit! Where did you come from? Maybe I should turn the volume up a bit more. I'm trying to keep it quiet because I uh, don't really want to hear any um, feedback on the mic because I haven't got my headphones on tonight. That glass will do for now. Not really much point doing this. Yeah, that's the last of that. So, 
that's good enough and now I'm going to go down and okay I'm tempted to put that down one layer but that's a bit more secure and as a bonus this will keep any spider zombies uh, far away that's the important thing most of all Okay, I don't really need to do much with that. If I have time, I might pick that off, but I don't think I will. I mean, it's already set up for the horde, so why bother? Hopefully, I won't have to face more than the seven day horde here, and I'll have a more dedicated facility in the future. But I'm going to come over here and. Nice. That's going to be handy. I'm going to just jump right over the damn top. Like an idiot. I wish I could sort of hang over the edge like you can in Minecraft. Um, would make things a little bit easier. I'm going to stick one in there. This was going a little quicker than expected. So as you can see my plan is pretty simple. Stay up here, shoot everything that moves. As long as you control the high ground you don't really have much to fear of the zombies. Although it doesn't need, you can actually fight them from underground too as long as you herd them in the right way. Uh, right, I'm going to have to remove this. And then I might show you where I'm mining. Oh god, this is going to take a while. But yeah, my general plan is, yeah, get this place sorted out and ready, and then just go and try and grind as much ammunition as I can. And, you know, maybe, you know, once I get a mini bike, at least a mini bike, preferably a motorcycle, but I don't think I'm going to get that anytime soon. But uh, once I have a mini bike, I'll probably start scouting out the city in the southeastern corner. Um, I don't know, I never even look in this. A treasure map and some seeds. Yeah, you should always tidy up your. I mean, it's the zombie apocalypse, it's no uh, excuse to be a pig. Yes, an epidemic. That's how fitting. Right, that's the last of it. Oh, I got some free glass. Let's see. Now when I look at it, I could probably reinforce this wall a little bit, but don't really have the materials, so that's a waste of time, really. Now, what else do I have? I've got that. this metal, There's some trash I don't want. Oh, yes, that's happening to me a lot. Um, since my mouse is on its way out and you know it's nice you know I make a left click and then it registers a right click yes it actually does that depending on what part of the mouse I'm pushing on so I'm thinking there's a little crook in there strangely enough it's the left mouse button that's playing up it's normally the right one that fails on me probably too much minecraft and you know seven days to die we are beating the hell out of um, you know, there was a difference between a heavy hit and a light hit. Two, two, four, six, and barely worth the effort. Oh yeah, that's all my stamina. Anyway, I 
think what I'll probably do is oh it's painfully slow like the mining this is why I'm on I think 60 minute days yeah I think it's 60 minutes I haven't actually looked at the settings I used the same ones from last time That's it. I should probably build a chest or something up there and stash some ammo and maybe a gun. Since knowing me of late, I tend to forget stuff. Not quite back in the groove. I haven't really been touching this game much for the last couple of months. And then I've sort of gotten back into it. And jumped right in the deep end and started recording. But yeah, as far as the basic effort, that looks alright. In fact, it's actually more solid than I think my last one, in uh, the last alpha, but I would like if I had the time to take that down and go metal frames all around. Um, I better test, I better test this, otherwise I will get in the back side. Yes, you can still shoot through these. And that, also I don't want to get close because as you can just see, uh, Bit of weirdness back there. I was stuck in the, that and I didn't actually select it either. See this mouse is doing my head in and unfortunately I don't really can't really justify getting a new one right now due to the current issue with you know the doomsday virus thing that's going around. Still at least around here it's on its way out. Oh nice gunpowder and lead. Yeah, I need a lot of that. I will need a lot of that. Yeah, that's a good first half of the video. Now, as I said, I'm going to show off the mine over there. And I don't know, find some zombies to stab. I mean, what else do you do in the apocalypse? Not like there's any TV anymore. Though some people might suggest that that's actually a good thing. Have I been here? Yeah, I think I've been here off camera. And yeah, as you can see over this way, I have the bullet farm. <laughs> I call it that because I can pretty much get everything to make a bullet there, um, which is a nice bonus. Okay, that's coal deposit under there. Iron from there. Got more in. Really? Yeah, I just found a closer nitrate deposit. Honestly, that would be nice to find. This is what happens when you go prospecting in the dark. You don't find what you're looking for, or at least cleaner. Mind you, the deposit I found is utterly enormous, so. I'll keep working on that one. So yes, uh, once I have the motorbike, I can probably begin. I think the first building I'm going to hit is the crack a book building because I need all the books. It'd be nice when I can craft like thousand round uh, things of packets of bullets because that uses about the. I can't remember what the thing was, but it's like enough material to use, say, 800 bullets, and you get a thousand. So that's a nice saving on brass. You know, it's over here. And oh, yeah, nice iron deposit. Right by this lake. 
Wouldn't be surprised if it goes under the lake, actually. Where did I... Okay, there's the hatch. Anyway, I've spent a lot of time in here. As you can see, um, quite a bit of nitrate. In fact, quite a lot. I've barely scratched on the surface, and uh, the reason why I read uh, originally it was going to just be the nitrate mine, but lead and iron. And so, yeah, I'm going to have to come here again tonight and go bananas. Oh, and not walk down the hole that I made when I first started. So yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty substantial mine, actually. And I found some more nitrate and lead, actually, a lot closer to home. But this one's actually a bigger deposit, I think. The other one was more of an iron deposit that just had to happen to have some nitrate and lead on it. Actually, the church is over there. Let's go pick on some zombies. Because I'm bored and I'm waiting for the fun of tomorrow night. I guess that'll be Friday's episode. All going according to plan, unless I find something interesting. And then we can get started on the main project, hopefully. Another egg, you need all the eggs. Nice. You know, all these trees don't help. Um, I feel like you're about to blunder into a trap. Yeah, I tend to prefer getting up close and personal. Um, it does make better TV. Alright, come on. Plus, um... Like I said, more entertainment. I should probably bring a shovel along and can't really be bothered. Hey, wake up! Don't know how you got that cheap shot in. Right, more eggs. Oh, why not? Maybe a waste of time. Alright. Value there. Have to bring a wrench and scrap that. All right, that should have woken everyone up. I was expecting a full on assault by now. It's too quiet. Yeah. You can't fucking record anything around here without people talking to me. Oh, okay. you come from? I mean, I know you can throw it, but it's a waste, really. Some useful stuff. Oh, hey, an arrow. 
Pro. Wonder where they came from. They weren't there when I started. Well, not the arrow. I know where that came from. Um, medical supplies. More stuff. Empty cabinet. Right, all the goodies. And yes, I'm encumbered. I don't really care. Anyway, that's enough for one episode. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel for more daily videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time in 7 Days to Die.